Okay, I'm checking in. Um, last week we fed watermelon, and I've never fed watermelon before, so... By the way, hey guys, a quick update, Anarchy Warm Bin, thanks for coming. I think, I think I'm not the only one who can never remember where I fed. And yes, I know there are some cool markers I can use, but eh. They look beautiful, but this watermelon really does take a while to break down. The rind is still completely intact. They're going at the fruit. They look good. So this is the Urban Worm Bag. These are my red wigglers. And again, I just kind of curiously wanted to see what happened to the watermelon. I'll peek into the other bins. So even though I said I wouldn't feed my euros, I did end up feeding them some watermelon because it's not fair that one kid gets watermelon and the other one has to eat leftovers. Oh, that wasn't hard to find. They're in it, about the same. They've stripped almost all of the fruit. These skins are about half gone. And I can't tell if that worm is disintegrating or if he's like dug in into the fruit and underneath it. Oh, he's underneath it. That's, that is a trip. Okay. Continue as you were. And, um, I will, these are my European night crawlers. I will check in on another bin too. Okay, these are my African night crawlers. As always, the mites love the cardboard. You can see them right here. I never know what these guys are gonna do. They either duck out of sight as soon as they open the bin, or they are like daring me to put them on film. Okay, let's find the watermelon. There's an apple in here that's been in here for a long time. Still kind of trying to break it down. I think the watermelon was on this side. Nope. Wow. These guys have gone through almost all of it and they got the second biggest feeding I had. This is just a piece of egg carton. So I really only have a couple of skins. Look at this. This is crazy. Okay, wait, I feel more. I just didn't go deep enough. So many inappropriate things I could say here. Okay, this is really almost all gone through. This is the biggest chunk so far. There's a cocoon right here. This big guy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but someone dug holes through this watermelon. Someone, someone's, it's like Swiss cheese. This is awesome, I did not expect this. These guys have eaten a lot. So you can see the difference between what they've gone through and what the other bins have gone through. And again, you can see them right under the flesh, like they're going through it, they're burrowing. Check it 
that little dude out. Maybe he'll poke his head out again. Right there. So cool. Oh, there's two of them in there. Oh my god. This is so cool. I could watch this all night. Okay. One more bin. Okay. If I didn't say in the last clip that was an African Nightcrawler bin, I think... Sorry. Whoa. Earthquake. I think Mary is one of my newer viewers and I, heard, I watched a comment on another site. I think she commented on Emily the Crazy Worm Lady's page and just said, hey guys, remember to like tell us what kind of worms you're working with. That's really important. And I thought that was a good comment. So I'm trying to be more cognizant about that. So um, reds were first, then euros, then African night colors. And these are probably a pretty good mix of um, red wigglers and India blue worms, although I'm pretty sure they're almost all India blue worms, which are great composting worms. They just really like to escape. I keep finding them dead on the floor. These guys are going through it too. See, just like I said, they go through the food quickly. I really do love these guys. If you can take care of them and give them an environment that they're happy in, you'll be happy that you kept them and took good care of them. They are almost through the skin of this watermelon, like almost ready for another feeding. And they did get the biggest feeding because there's, I have the most of them. Um, and I did add buffer to everything, garden lime, um, rock dust, and eggshells, ground eggshells, and I always make sure to like clean off my hands before I get into each bin. I never realized how important that was. I think it was Timothy Campbell that pointed that out. You have to be really careful. Lilia says it all the time too. There are tiny, tiny little wisps and um, babies that will stick to your hand, even sometimes cocoons. And unless you want your bins to be all mixed, which I think would be fun too, but like I said, unless you want that, you have to be really careful and get all those little hitchhikers off of your hands. So I'm probably just digging up the same pieces over and over again, so I'm just going to put these back. And I hope you guys have a really good night. And I hope that your neighbors don't catch you when you're trying not to get shocked by the electric fence while you're picking up their horse manure. Love you guys.